Now, at this point in the video, I don't remember if I've said this already or not, but if I have, I'm gonna repeat it. There are four microphones <clears throat> on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. There are probably four microphones on every iPhone, but I know at least on the one that I'm using there is. And one of the ways that you can adjust the audio is to isolate the microphone that is closest to the person actually speaking. So I'm on the selfie camera. And if I adjust this audio, I'll do that right here. Now I have chosen for it to, uh, to edit down to just this microphone. So all the stuff behind the phone to the side of the phone should be minimized while I'm doing that. That clip was recorded for my Life in Motion Diaries channel for a video that went up a couple of days ago. I'll put a link to that uh, in the description in case you want to go watch that if you don't subscribe to that channel. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about what, what went on there. And one of the things that I think for me as a filmmaker that's come out with the iOS 18.1 update that just dropped a couple of days ago. Now, to give you an idea, I am going to record this video in regular, just regular camera, regular audio, no microphone. This is the sound of my room as you would ordinarily hear it. And the rest of this video, I will have transformed within the phone itself using the new audio mix feature in iOS 18.1. Now, before we go into that, let me show you one other clip from that video the other day um, that demonstrates another kind of edit. But there is another one that is probably the one I will use most often, <clears throat> and that's called Studio. And what that will do is a lot what Adobe Podcast Enhance has done. It will actually change the sound of my voice, make it richer like I'm sitting in a studio doing a podcast rather than sitting here outside. So I'm going to cut the video right here. And now I have clicked studio on the rest of this clip so that it can um, do its thing and see what it does. Again, I've got wind coming across here. I've got construction sounds. I've got kids playing on the playground. I want to know how much of that I can get rid of by doing the audio edit in the photo app. So here's the thing. The new iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max, I, I, this may be true of every iPhone. I'm not real sure. But they have four separate microphones on these phones. And so one of the things that you need to do in order to take advantage of this audio mix feature is to go into settings. Now I'm going to record this as a screen recording. Hopefully I can sync it up to me talking <laughs> because I can't do in that recording with audio what I can do in this recording with audio. So I'm going to open up the settings app and then I'm going to go into camera. And from camera, I'm going to go into the audio section. Now, on your phone, you may only have stereo or mono. You may not have this thing called spatial. And that is, that's crucial. You have to set your audio to spatial or this will not work. And if you'll notice down here at the bottom of the screen, I've also turned on the um, noise reduction within the microphone, wind noise reduction specifically. And in the video that I did the other day for the Life in Motion's Diary channel, I forgot that I had that turned on. So when I was doing video outside and I had this pretty strong wind blowing, even before I did anything else to the audio, the wind noise was greatly reduced. And if that's all you did is that wind noise reduction, that's pretty, that's pretty good for the phone. But here is what I did. I, I did a video in, um, in my living room and I'm going to show you that video right now. It has no audio editing whatsoever. I'm not even going to do um, to normalize the audio track. As I get farther away from the phone, the sound's going to drop off. This is exactly what it sounds like in the phone. 
This is just a simple video to get a baseline sound of what all the AI editing in iOS 18.1 can do for your video. Right now I'm about 15 inches from the phone. And now I'm five or six feet away from the phone and you should hear a huge degradation in the quality of the audio because the microphones are just not that good. And now I'm probably a good 10 feet away from the microphone and I would never attempt to make this video without a microphone. Okay, now if I pull that video up in the photo app, and I, and I see at the bottom of the screen these three lines, one on top of the other. That's the editing button. And if I go into edit, because I've turned on spatial for audio, you will see an audio mix button at the bottom. If you're just recording in stereo, that button will not appear. And when I click that, you're going to see that I've got three options across the bottom other than standard. I've got in-frame and I've got studio and I've got cinematic. Now here are the differences as I understand them. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. But the in-frame audio mix, I'm, I'm filming on the, on the selfie camera today. There is a microphone associated with that view. I am in camera, I'm in the frame. And so it will eliminate the other cameras and, and allow just this, uh, the other microphones, I should say, and allow just this microphone to really be the emphasis of this video. If I turn the camera around and I was shooting this through the front facing camera, then that's the microphone that it would concentrate on. And that does a pretty decent job and probably outdoors that might be the best because it still allows you to have a little bit of the ambient noise around you to indicate that you're still outside. So here's what in camera sounds like on that clip I just showed you. This is just a simple video to get a baseline sound of what all the AI editing in iOS 18.1 can do for your video. Right now I'm about 15 inches from the phone. And now I'm five or six feet away from the phone and you should hear a huge degradation in the quality of the audio because the microphones are just not that good. And now I'm probably a good 10 feet away from the microphone and I would never attempt to make this video without a microphone. The second option at the bottom of the screen is studio and this is probably closest to adobe podcast enhance it's set up to be a narration audio track so it really it sort of boosts the base of your voice a little bit really cuts down on the ambient noise and it sounds like now you're filming inside for the most part and it is simply amazing and that's how I have edited all of the clips in this video has been with the studio setting. You remember what that sounded like back at the beginning of the video with just the raw audio? All the other video clips have been adjusted to studio. Now you can't adjust, you know, if you can't raise the, 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 the high levels, you can't lower the bass, you can't do anything like that. It is what it is, but it's pretty dang good. And you can go into DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro, wherever you are, and normalize the track so that when, as the, you notice as the sound falls off, the farther I get away from the video, it will raise those. Doesn't sound as good, but it will raise those. And so here's a clip of what studio sounds like. This is just a simple video to get a baseline sound of what all the AI editing in iOS 18.1 can do for your video. Right now I'm about 15 inches from the phone.
And now I'm five or six feet away from the phone and you should hear a huge degradation in the quality of the audio because the microphones are just not that good. And now I'm probably a good 10 feet away from the microphone and I would never attempt to make this video without a microphone. And then the last setting is called cinematic. And from what I've seen of that, it doesn't give as much bass to the, to the vocals. It's more like you would want to record to create a, a movie or to create something that looked sort of like a TV show. It keeps the upper levels of the audio. It doesn't sound quite as, um, as muddy. That's, a, that's the word I keep throwing around. It's got a little bit more of a high contrast to it. And and I really like it, but it's not it's not the setting that I will probably use most of the time, but listen to it here. This is just a simple video to get a baseline sound of what all the AI editing in iOS 18.1 can do for your video. Right now I'm about 15 inches from the phone. And now I'm five or six feet away from the phone and you should hear a huge degradation in the quality of the audio because the microphones are just not that good. And now I'm probably a good 10 feet away from the microphone and I would never attempt to make this video without a microphone. Now, those are just clips that I filmed. It's actually one clip that I've redone in my house. But what about if I go to Panera in the morning and I want to record a video at Panera? I have hesitated doing that simply because there's music playing and I don't want to get a copyright strike on me. And so typically what I have to do is I have to come back. I have to strip out the audio, upload it to Podcast Enhance, change it download it, swap out the audio track, you know, and, and that's a lot of work. But here's what a clip, just a normal clip, hopefully I don't get a copyright strike, here is just the normal clip from Panera. I thought I would also do a quick video here at Panera. I've got music playing in the background, I hardly ever do any video here where I'm doing a voiceover because unless I have my microphone with a dead cat mic, probably going to pick this up. Adobe Podcast Enhanced can fix that sometimes, but I want to see what happens inside the phone itself. And so all I've done now is I've gone and I've clicked on studio and I have re-sent the video to my iMac. And here's what that sounds like with the studio adjustment. I thought I would also do a quick video here at Panera. I've got music playing in the background. I hardly ever do any video here where I'm doing a voiceover because unless I have my microphone with a dead cat mic, I'm probably going to pick this up. Adobe Podcast Enhanced can fix that sometimes, but I want to see what happens inside the phone itself. I, I, you know, I hesitate throwing around the word game changer, but for me, this is huge. The ability to fix my audio on the phone without having to go to Podcast Enhance and all those extra steps and time involved. The nice thing about it is, let me go back to the first clip and show you that once I have set that, I've created an edit, then I can select all of the other clips and go back to those little three little dots and say paste edits and it will fix every audio track all at one time. You only have to fix one clip. And then after that, it's one simple step and everything is fixed. That's it for today. Let me know what you think in the comments and uh, we will talk to you again next time.